It's Friday, time for another weekly update. Roan State Community College and the Tennessee College of Applied Technology in Knoxville are partnering on a new health science education center. The 130,000 square foot facility will be located on the Covenant Health Campus across from Park West Medical Center and is expected to serve 8,000 students per year. Programs will include nursing, EMS, respiratory therapy, cardiovascular technology, healthcare administration, and public health. Knox County is proud to support this project with a $500,000 grant. The Growth Policy Coordinating Committee will be holding a public meeting next Wednesday, January 10th at 5 p.m. in the City County Building's large assembly room. We started the process of updating the county's land use policies two years ago with the goals of mitigating skyrocketing housing prices, limiting urban sprawl, and being good stewards of taxpayer dollars. I believe what we are proposing accomplishes those goals. Please be on the lookout for a series of short videos my office will release next week discussing this further. A big thank you to Mia Warren, who earned her Girl Scout Gold Award by creating a system allowing folks with visual impairments to take a self-guided tour of the East Tennessee History Center using their smartphone and a series of QR codes. The program is now an ongoing initiative of the History Center that will be shared with other museums across the state and the nation to advance accessibility for all museum goers. And of course, it's pretty cool that Mia's name is also the acronym for the program, which is dubbed Museums Increasing Accessibility. Fantastic work, Mia. We are super proud of you. It was a great week for UT Athletics as the football Vols thumped Iowa 35 to nothing in the Cheez-It Citrus Bowl, while the men's basketball team, currently ranked fifth in the country, extended their winning streak to six games with a 37-point thrashing of Norfolk State. Until next Friday, I hope everyone has a great week.